Okay, good morning. So, I have here an additional topic where you can use in forecasting. That is the simple linear regression. Okay? So, in simple linear regression, you can use this if there is a correlation between x and y variables. Okay, so correlation between x and y, we can uh, test this by using the Pearson R. Okay, of course, the closer to 1, the higher the correlation. Then, for this simple linear regression, we will be using the formula y is equal to a plus bx. Okay, the equation of the line, if you can still remember in your uh, math. Okay, so for the uh, y, this is our dependent variable. For your uh, x, this is your independent. Of course, your uh, b is the slope of the line. And then your A is the y-intercept. Okay. So to compute for our uh, B, or the slope of the line, B is equal to SSXY over SSX. Okay. SSXY is the sum of squares of XY, which can be computed by... Okay. This is SSXY is equal to the summation of XY minus summation of X, summation of Y over... N. And SSX is SSX is equal to the summation of x squared minus the summation of x squared over n. For A, we have there y bar minus b x bar. Of course, these are the means of your y and your x. Okay? So for example, let us say I have here my uh, grade, uh, the number of hours I spent in studying and Y is my final grade. Okay? So, let us say if I studied for 5 hours, okay, my grade will be 50. If I studied for 6 hours, let us say my grade will be 60 or my grade is 60. 11 hours, we have 79. Then we have 20. That is 90, 19, we have 85, 20 hours, we have 90, 10 hours, we have 80, 12 hours, we have 82, 8 hours, we have 65, 15 hours, we have 85, 18 hours, we have 94. 10 hours, we have 70. Okay? Let's say I have here 12 pairs. Okay. For this one, we compute for the summation of x, summation of x squared, summation of y, summation of y squared, summation of xy. For x, of course, we need the x bar and y bar. Okay? Okay, so for the summation of x, we have there 154. Summation of x squared, we have 2,300. Summation of y, we have 930. Summation of y squared, we have there 74,076. Summation of xy, we have there 12,665. For y bar, we have there 154 divided by 12. That is 12.8333. For y bar, that is 930 divided by 12. We have there 77.5. Okay? So let us compute now for our SSXY. That is the summation of XY minus summation of X, summation of Y over N. Which is equal to... 12,665 minus 154 times 2,300. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Times 
30 over 12. SSXY is equal to 730. For our SSX, we have there. Okay, SSX, summation of x squared minus summation of x squared over n. Our summation of x squared is 2, 3, or 2,300 minus our summation of x is 154 squared over 12. That is equal to, we have 323.6667. Okay? For SSY, that is equal to, we have 900, uh, no, that is 74,076. 74,076 minus, we have 930 squared over 12. And our SSY, 74,076 minus, Minus 930 squared over 12, that is 2,001. Okay? So, let us now compute for our B, that is SSXY over SSX. Our SSXY is 730 divided by 323.6667, that is equal to... We have there 2.25541. Okay? And for our uh, A, that is equal to Y bar minus B X bar, that is equal to, we have Y bar is 77.5 minus B is 2.25541 times our X bar is. 12.8333. Okay, our A is equal to 48.5556. Okay, so our equation now is Y prime is equal to A plus BX, which is we have A is 48.5556 plus B, that is 2.25. 54.1x. Okay? So, let us say, uh, I studied for 21 hours. So, let's say y, uh, x is, I studied for 21 hours. Okay? What will be my final grade? So, y is equal to, we have 48.5556 plus 2.25, 54.1. Okay, times 21. So, y is equal to, my final grade will be 95.91921. I have there 95.91921. Okay? So, let us say, I studied for, um, let's say, 6 hours. No, that will be 60. 7 hours, okay? Let's say I studied for 7 hours. What will be my grade? We have y is equal to 48.5556 plus 2.25541 times 7. y is equal to, we have there, okay, 64.3434.7, okay? Let's say I studied for 9 hours. Okay, so that will be y is equal to 48.5556 plus 2.25, times 9. y is equal to, we have there, 68.854229. Okay, so this will be my final grades if I studied for this number of, R's. Okay. So, let us compute for the standard error of estimate. So, for the standard error of estimate, 
we can compute this by using the formula we have SE is equal to the square root of SSY minus B SSXY over N minus 2 which is equal to the square root of what is our SSX, uh, SSY? we have 2001 okay, 2001 minus 2.2554 1 okay, times what is our SSXY? we have 730 over 12 minus 2 is 10. So our SE is equal to, we have there the square root of 2001 minus 2.2554 1 times 730 over 10. We have there 5.9544. Okay, that will be our